in Team Photocomposite, players are distributed in rows. And to have a full control of these rows, you have a rows control panel at right. Please allow me to remove the creative content before showing you how this uh, panel works. First, you have to click at this uh, small icon here, top left, to enable uh, selecting uh, creative content or clip art. Then you re may remove the clip art from the from the design because these small icons are only enabled for creative content. I remove them, so now we don't have any more creative content. Okay, I, ena I enable again seeing the icons for players. At right, you can see first of all we have uh, a control to establish the number of rows. This uh, control is here to be uh, to make uh, an automatic distribution in rows. If you set it to two and enable automatic resizing of players, after clicking at the magic one, you will have the players distributed in two rows. If you select three rows, it does the same, but three rows. If you see, you can see the size of the players is optimized to fill at maximum the composite but you can easily change the size of these players with this slider here or the small up and down arrows. And you, if you disable uh, automatic resizing, you may distribute them in three rows, but using this size. Squatting people are uh, placed, if possible, in the first row. Now, you have here a number to control the total of players and the difference in the number of players for each row. You may add new rows with these controls and uh, remove rows. But first, take, uh, let's take a look at the row control. The rows are distributed from top to bottom. If you click here, you may select a full row of players. The second row and the third row. Once you have a row uh, selected, you may move it using the mouse. Please notice that aligning is automatic, and you can see here a blue line when feeds of the second and the third rows are aligned. If you now uh, set the new position to this one, the number of rows is now reduced to two because the system automatically detect, detects that all these players are in the same row. Here we are. By pressing Command Z or Control Z if you are using Windows, you may you have an undo, and the rows uh, will go back to his original position. Okay, let's take a look at the top row. This one. If the players are selected by clicking at an empty space in the design area, the selection disappears. Okay. First of all, you have a control of number of players. If you reduce the number of players in the second row to 5 instead of 6, you will see we have a difference of minus one player. One player is not uh, in the distribution and cannot be automatically distributed. Therefore, the frame is uh, shown in red. Now we have to uh, add one player to the top row and we have five here. The number of players are 17 again and an automatically distribution is done. Now we have uh, we've also uh, side margins at left and at right for each of the rows. You may use the slider or the small arrows to change it, change it more precisely. Each time you set a new margin at the side, the elements are distributed evenly. For example, if you take one of these players and move it to a side, let's say here, there is here a gap between players. Once you set a new margin, players are distributed evenly in the row using the head center of each player. This is to avoid elements like uh, the bait, ball, etc. And also, each uh, of the rows have a bottom margin. You can use it with a slider or with up and down arrows for more precision. 
If you set the same bottom margin for two rows, let's do it for the second and the third. Here. Now, you can see we have merged both rows in only one. At the control, at the rows control at the right, you can see now we have only two rows. Again, with command Z or control Z, we can undo the setting and put them in their original places. Please remember that maybe you have to um, swap some positions after uh, the rows have been redistributed. For example, this coacher need, must to be in the position of this player and using the swap uh, option, we can easily set a new position for the player. Okay. You can see here this person is uh, stands up and it would be better in the second row. Okay, in this case, we have to remove it from the last row, the row number one. We set it to six and we add one to the second row here. We again have to swap the position for the player. Maybe it's better here and here. Okay, this is it. This is the best distribution for three rows. As you can see, using the rows control at right, it's very easy to get an optimal distribution of your players in the composite.